All right, hi guys. Dave Dean Hart with W Designs. So basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna replace the rubber on this Omnibot uh, 5402. So I've already replaced it here. Unfortunately, the footage got boogered up. So I'm gonna go through the steps on how to take this apart and uh, then we'll finish it up. So basically what you do, raise that arm up, you're going to remove this screw. Works really well if you have a nice small screwdriver that you can get in there. We're going to remove this screw right here. Same thing. If you have a screwdriver that's got a rubber outside uh, grip on it, it won't scratch this plastic. Just try not to strip, strip your screw head. Obviously, you know, the robot's pretty vintage. You want to keep it in as good a shape as possible. Okay. So we're going to pop that out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop these tie rod, rod ends off. We're going to pop them off, and we're going to go ahead and slide them on down. That allows us to flex this. And it actually allows us to take this whole arm and rotate it around. And when we rotate it around, we have really easy access to this screw here. So now we're going to remove this screw. Once we have that, let's make sure we don't lose anything. Set that aside. Set the robot aside. We're going to set this down. We're going to take these three screws out. Then we'll remove those, set the screws aside. We're going to take these two screws out. So I'm going to recommend taking a lot of photos. And the reason for that is when I pulled this apart the first time, it fell apart and it took me forever to figure out how it went back together. The reason it took so long is because basically you have this little piece right here that allows it to move. Now you can see I just caused it to fall apart again. So what I'm going to do is pop this back in here. I know exactly how it goes. Get that lined up. I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm going to tape that together. Blue tape works the best because it'll peel right off. All right, so we're going to do that. That way, this is not going to fall apart. If it does, we got photos. So, next part, let's take these screws out. So we'll go ahead and pull these out real quick. Now once we get those pulled out, let's just do one side at a time. So I'm gonna have to actually take that tape off of there Carefully pull that off. Open that just a little bit. Pop this out of here. So that's that's all you got to do is just pop that out. Let's get the new one. So we've got it. We will line it up in the correct orientation. Get that seated. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and just ever so slightly. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and pop this back. Can't do that because that actually has to move. Let's gently move this. See what we can do here. Trying to find a way... All right, I'm just gonna gently 
open that up. Try not to pop this all apart. Pop that out of there. Pop the new one in place. Okay, there we go. Now, put this one back in. So we can probably let these pinchers go ahead and rest against each other. So I can see that this already shifted. this lined up okay that is lined up let's get these screws in okay so we got those now let's get this one lined up so we know that goes over the post Get that lined up over the pinchers. Get that screw in place. Again, don't over tighten. You don't want to strip the uh, the plastic. Okay, there we go. All right. Double check those. We'll put this piece of tape back over this post. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna get it ready to put back in place. So now I'm gonna hold this whole assembly and I'm gonna pop that off by mistake. I'm gonna actually have to take this bottom piece of tape off too. Hopefully it'll stick to that. Try to keep everything in place as it should be. So this, actually hinges on this post here. So you're gonna to wanna to line that up. Okay, my goodness. All right, now we know how this one goes. So there's a little post right here and then right here. So we have to get this just right to where we can pop that in there and then we can pop that back onto this one, okay? So then we've got that. Now, what we need to do is we need to get this lined up You may have to mess with it a little bit to get everything lined up. Okay, there we go. So I had to lift on this a little bit to get it seated properly. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get these screws in. Let's do that quick before it changes its mind. Okay, so now before you actually go too far on getting this thing put back together, open it up, make sure, make sure this piece pops out. So there we go, it popped out. So that pops out as it should. So when you go to insert something into the hand, it closes around it. So we're good there. It's still not quite right. So I'm so basically it's not popping into place here as it should. So I may mess with that a little bit more, but functionally it's correct. I've got photos to reference, so I'm good. All right, next part. Pop this back together.
So actually, we're going to have the screws and the screws all facing upward. And you're going to see here, all right, basically, if you look here, this goes behind this piece right here, and it actually shows through here. All right, now we're going to take three screws, get them lined up, and start putting this back together. All right. Verify your work every step of the way. Make sure that that's rotating. Make sure everything is snug, but not over tightened. Okay. We could put our decal back on, but since I'm actually going to take this apart to see if I can figure out where this is rubbing, I will do that later. All right. So let's put this back together. <clears throat> Throw those away. Okay. So here we go. So what we did is we rotated the arm all the way around back. And that gave us easier access to the center post. Now we'll go ahead and get that lined up. And get it back in place. Okay. So again, go ahead and get it put together. Don't over tighten. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rotate this all around. I'll show you what we got here. <clears throat> okay, so what we've got is we need to set these tie rod ends in place. You can flex them just a little bit and get them popped right on there. And we'll get that positioned. We'll pop this one in place. Now we're going to put these screws back in. go. The next one, we'll raise it back up a little more. I'm going to get that started a little bit just so that it's not angled. And then I'm going to shuffle around a little. Okay. It's a little tricky. You really don't want to scratch the plastic, but unless you want to tear the whole thing apart, this is the best way. So the screwdriver I've got has a nice rubber outside edge, so it's not going to scratch this or this. So there we go. So we've got the arm put back together. We'll test it, validate it, 
make sure it rotates, make sure that opens and pops open, make sure it pops closed, and that's it. That's how you change the rubber, and that's how you make sure this doesn't get all messed up to where it doesn't go back together correctly. Uh, so, like I said, take lots of pictures and document your process along the way. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, guys.